I'm here today to encourage you and your family as you make new routines and then have to adjust those routines in educating your children. Teachers and staff are praying for you and your family by name every week. I want to start with this verse from Isaiah 43. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Several years ago, I was challenged to pray a thousand yeses in advance to what you bring to me, Lord. And so then I started praying and I had to remember it wasn't based on what I thought I could do. It was all based on who he is. Who is he? He is all loving, all compassionate, always good. He is strong. He's a giver of wisdom and generous. He's the savior, forgiving, full of mercy, and so much more. Well, here we are in a very quiet school. It's what he has brought to us for this time. It's a time of great opportunity. Opportunity to be together as family, learning together and struggling together. Time to draw closer to God as family and together in his word. Time to turn our worries to prayer with our children. A few weeks ago in my Sunday class, someone shared this quote, the teacher is silent during the test. Did you hear? The teacher is silent during the test. Why, you ask? Because the teacher has already given everything needed for the test. Let's remind ourselves and our children who God is, how he is present with us in this trial, look for those promises in his word, and trust them through this test, through this time. We have the best book and we have the best teacher right in our homes with us. Be encouraged today. Thanks so much for all you're doing.